All right, hey YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna be putting on these uh, hood louvers on a 96 Cherokee. Uh, it's probably pretty similar for all the XJs though. Um, anyway, these hood louvers reduce the amount of heat under the hood. As you can see, there's all this cracking in the paint and all this stuff. Um, and I've already sanded and repainted this and it just happens again, so. Uh, and I had that little, uh, the hood, it's, you can see it over there, it's that stuff that was underneath the hood that's supposed to reduce or reduce the heat going on to the paint. But as you can see, it doesn't work. So uh, I'm gonna throw these on there. Uh, I'm gonna go through the whole process of measuring and taping out and then cutting. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna raptor line the hood and the roof as well. Uh, that way when I put stuff on the roof, it doesn't scratch it or damage it or anything. So there's nothing wrong with the roof, so it's not really hiding anything. It's just, it'll deaden this noise too. Um, and that way when I put stuff on the roof rack, I got a roof rack that I'm going to modify and put back up here. Um, it's too big for this right now, but I'm just going to cut it and weld it and put it back on. So anyway thought I'd make a video on how to install these because <laughs> when you buy these on uh, Amazon they just come just like this in a box no uh, no hardware no instructions no template nothing so I'll go through and uh, show you how I'm gonna measure and why you have to measure not just throw them on there uh, but anyway I've already done a little bit of uh, kind of pre-measuring um, inside the hood here there's a structure uh, support structure that's five inches from the back to the front um, so I didn't want my hardware to hit that structure so um, it's got to be five inches from here forward and it's seven inches from here from the edge of the hood inward towards the edge of this uh, is another structure and it's at an angle so it's kind of hard to measure but as long as I I think if I just make it five and seven here uh, then the angle of that will be exactly what it needs to be it'll be pretty straight with the center line of the the grooves here so but I'll kind of go through how I'm gonna measure and tape everything and then ultimately cut so but should be should line up about right there so it'll look pretty good and then again I'm gonna bed line everything so it'll look I think it'll look pretty sharp so all right, I'll set you up here. All right, so we got it kind of measured out here for five inches and seven inches. So you're just gonna go five inches from the top to the middle here. So five and then seven inches at kind of an angle. It's kind of hard to measure because you got all the structure in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But once you get it uh, kind of set, um, I guess I can take a measurement from the front too. The front of this to the front of the hood is right at like 16 and a quarter. So that way, the more measurements you get on one side, the better because then you can match the other side nice. So, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay two lines of tape. I'm going to tape it this way. Kind of matching the edge of the top of where that would be. So I'm going to take it this way. So I'm going to take it this way and just go along and tape all the edges. And get it as close as you can. And then after I get this taped, I'll show you the the reason why it's got to be where it's at. So we got that basic shape there. Uh, 
I was going to do this with the hood off, but it seemed like it was going to take a, more effort than it was worth to remove the hood because you have to do, uh, you'd have to take off the, uh, the latch mechanism here and it's all riveted on and everything and that's didn't seem like it would be that fun. But anyway, in here you got all the inner structure for the hood. So uh, this was five inches and this was about seven inches. It's hard to measure that and I didn't want to have to screw through all this so I'm just gonna line it in there um, and you can see it's, it's kind of hard to use this and go and attach it from this side because you have all this like glue here around this edge and it doesn't really like to fit very good so you can see about right there is where it's going to want to sit but you can also see that the other side won't fit nice here because the correct side won't fit nice here because of all the louvers so this is actually that side and i didn't i didn't know if these uh, holes were in the exact same spot, so I didn't want to use that. Um, so I'm just going to do it from the other side. Um, but yeah, so that shape that we lined out will be the exact outer diameter of this. And then what you do to get the inner diameter so that you have enough room for you to uh, put all your hardware in and stuff. Let's see if you can still see. Alright, sweet. So what you're going to do now is now that you have this basic shape here you're going to take another line of tape and you're going to go through and you're just going to take the inside edge of that and then you're actually going to cut here so that your bolt holes will be somewhere in there so that you have structure for your bolts and stuff for self-tapping screws or whatever you choose to do. I'm gonna do bolts uh, and whatnot. But. And just, so don't get confused <laughs> about where you're gonna cut and stuff, so. And then just make sure you're taping the entirety of the inside line. Because you don't wanna mess up a cut. Cause then you're welding and stuff and that's... And this thickness of tape is, uh, I think, going to be pretty perfect for this. Um, uh, does it say on here? I don't think it says. This is like inch and a half blue tape, I think. Let me see. Yeah, so inch and a half blue tape. So that's going to give me a whole inch and a half of play. Uh, so that when you put this lever on, probably. So now that we have that inner edge, you can see that we have some play here. So when we cut that inner edge, um, we're still going to have structure to bolt to and this won't be weak at all. Um, and we'll only lose maybe just a little bit of louver all the way around. So this will be perfect. So then all I'm going to do is... Uh, measure this and match it to the other side so that everything's perfect and then I'll cut and then uh, well actually <laughs> I think I'll put something underneath the hood like a bunch of blankets or something just so that actually I have that rug up there that'll work perfectly um, put that down so that way when I'm cutting I don't have to worry about a bunch of metal stuff getting all over everything and I'm gonna cut pretty pretty nicely uh, with probably use an angle grinder uh, with a nice little cutoff wheel and I'll try not to go too deep but that should look pretty good um, and that's just this is how I do it uh, I'm sure there's other ways but I'll let you know how it goes but this should 
bolt down pretty nicely. I'll just do because it's it's flat and the hood's uh, curved, got a pretty good curve to it. So when I bolt it down, I'll just start in the middle and go out, and we'll be we'll be good. So all right, well I will get it set up, and I'll just put you on a time lapse for me doing the other side, and then get it set up for cutting. Okay, so I went around and cleaned up the tape a little bit, uh, just so it was uh, less messy. Um, and then I drew my arrows on to remind me where to cut while I'm cutting. And then also I went around and measured from all my measuring points. So from outside, from the end of the hood, the inside of the tape is eight and a quarter on both sides. So I know it's right. And then from the uh, end of the hood to the inner tape is six and a half inches on both sides So you guys don't have to put two two things of tape if you don't want you can just take these measurements and copy it uh, And then from the front of the hood To the inner tape is 17 and three-quarter inches and then from the inner tape to the end of the hood is 25 and a quarter so that's what I got and it's the same on both sides. So should be great uh and the I looked underneath and it looks like everything's gonna line up pretty nicely inside of my frame uh, as long as the angles aren't <laughs> too uh, too crazy in there uh, it's hard to measure on the inside just because everything's rounded and it's hard to get a good starting spot with the tape measure so all right so next I'm gonna protect the inside of the engine bay there and get a angle grinder set up and cut this out as precisely as I can um, debating on whether or not I'm gonna mark my holes first but I probably won't I'll probably do that next do that after uh, that way I can lay them down and kind of get a good measurement of where everything is gonna lay but should be pretty nice it's this side So it's going to be hard to center everything again, but that'll be alright. Should look something like that. All done. And this, it looks cool, and also, <laughs> it, uh, it'll let a lot of the heat out, so, which is nice. So. Yep, should be something like that in that area. It'll look good. Alright, I'll get it all set up and we'll start cutting. Alright, so got everything all taped out. Um, I put the mat that was underneath the hood underneath. I uh, hope it's flame resistant. Should be. Yeah, I'll test it real quick. Actually, I'm going to put a flame to it. Just make sure it's not going to burst into flames on me. Just to double check. Okay, so it's not gonna catch on fire anyway. Uh, I got a fire extinguisher just in case, but anyway, I uh, propped up the hood a little bit. Here, let's show you. So I propped it up so it's pretty far away from uh, from anything important under there. I'll get you low enough here. So it's pretty far up. Uh, and then I got that material over the engine all the way across. So that way nothing crazy will happen. Should happen. Um, I got my angle grinder for the majority of it. And then I just have these metal cutters. Um, for any spots that I can't get that in. So hopefully I can get most of it with that. But without further ado.
So anyway, I'm just gonna do that all the way around. Um, I'll put you on a hyperlapse so this video is not like an hour long, but and that's all I'll do. I'll put you on a hyperlapse right now, Luke. Okay, well, that's the scary part. Uh, it's cut, so the holes are symmetrical. Um, the parts that I cut out are pretty much exact, which is a good sign. It means I measured correctly. Let me see if I can. So that's the two of them together, so that's pretty close. Um, so anyway, uh, I didn't get that. I only punched through one time I punched through back here and I hit the mat so uh, just make sure you put something protective under there also you gotta watch out for your uh, little hood latch release there make sure you don't catch that on accident uh, but yeah so the cans up front worked pretty good and nothing caught on fire so should be good so now all I'll do is I'll uh, come in oh yeah you can also see um, that the supports it's not interfering with any of the supports like I wanted and there should be enough room for the hardware to go through and not Come in contact with anything. So now what I'll do is I'll um, take the tape off I'll grind down these edges real good um, That way it looks nice and then after that what I'll do is I'll um, probably Probably lay out some fresh tape um, so I'll take that tape off, grind down the edges, put the two on there, and I'll lay out some fresh tape uh, with my louvers, and then I can so I can get a good idea where the louvers are going to go, and then I'll mark the holes before I drill, and then because that's the that's the part where it's going to be kind of tricky is making sure that you get all the holes right because if you drill even if you get one or two holes that are drilled off then. Then you're wobbling out holes and trying to make stuff work. So just be very careful with what you're doing. Uh, I'll keep going through the process. I'm just going to clean this up real quick and then uh, continue on. All right, just going to grind these edges real quick and then we'll take the tape off and see how it looks.
flip it up here and kind of grind it from the underside because I can't really get it very good. There we go. Yep, looks pretty symmetrical. Yep, looks pretty perfect. Alright, throw these on there. Good edge on there, that way I won't cut myself while I'm doing anything else. And I'm gonna rafter line this whole hood uh, probably tonight. I'm not sure if I want to rafter line the louvers or leave them uh, aluminum, or I might do like a color match to the body and do that green. I don't know. Let's see. I think it might be too flashy if I color it. With any sort of color, so I'll probably just cut line it. Call it here. I feel like that can check my
All right, so there we go. Pretty symmetrical, pretty straight. And those measurements, um, those measurements worked out really good with all the support inside the hood. So you could, uh, I mean, I would measure yourself just to make sure, but if you wanted to, I'm sure that that would work out for you if you just copied what I did, so. All right, so let's see what it looks like with the louvers on. Plenty of room for hardware, and I'll be able to get some uh, some minor adjustments in there for any <clears throat> anything that wasn't exact on the cut. So I didn't want to play that game of it having to be absolutely perfect. So, should be somewhere around there though, and gives you tons of room to work with. So <clears throat> and any hit. I think you might lose a little bit of the outer louvers, but not too much. So any heat coming out of that hood is better than what it is right now. So that'll be good. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, uh, like I said, I'll tape it and make sure it's it's all straight. Uh, but that's kind of what it'll look like. I'm gonna tape it, make sure everything's straight, and then I'll start putting my Drill my holes and get these things attached. So, all right, I'll start you back up after I get it taped here. All right, so I went through, I laid it out, and uh, found out. Well, the easiest way I found was just mark it with the tape again and measure your distance here, make sure it's equal on both sides, and you should be fine. And then I did one piece of tape across the front because I feel like this is the angle that matters the most here because this is going to be like the front on view um, and then so yeah I just measured side to side and then the distance between here and uh, the end of the actual louver uh, I measured there so it's the same on both sides but also I don't know if you can see the where the louvers are for the car or the Jeep also so, yeah. so I just followed that louver line straight down so they should line up pretty close on both sides. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but this side's got like a kind of a curve to it, so it's not not as straight as that one. So I don't know if that's just because this hood's not perfectly straight or what, but cuts have already been made, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So, um, yep, and then I went around and marked all my holes here, all 15 holes on each side. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through and drill them all. I'll put that pad back underneath so it catches all the metal coming out, but drill them all and then I'll be able to install the louvers. And then I'll probably, actually I'll probably drill them and then I'll paint this and then figure out if I'm going to paint these things or not. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just start drilling here. Alright, so I'm just going to go around and drill a small hole on all the holes where I'm going to drill um, and then I'll go back around and hit the quarter inch because of the hardware that I got but if you throw a socket on your drill bit like that it's just a socket that fits over now the drill bit can only go in that far so let's go around and drill the center of all your holes
go around and hit all those holes with a quarter inch and uh, be all good. So. All right, so that's all of them drilled, all 30 of them. <laughs> Uh, I guess I could see, I guess I probably should have checked one to make sure that these will fit in there. Uh, that's my goodie bag from the hardware store. So I got, uh, stainless steel hardware, that way it doesn't rust. Um, quarter by, uh, quarter by 20 by, uh, three quarters of an inch. Felt like that would give me plenty of room there, even with the louver and everything, so. Perfect. All right, so those are gonna fit real nice. So, um, so I got those, and then I got washers for the top, and I think I got a little box of uh, nylock nuts, so I'm gonna have to get more washers. Some of that to clean up my PB blaster. All right, there we go. So yeah, quarter by twenty nylocks. Um, but yeah, that should be. So I'll clean all this up and um, rough it up, paint it, and then put the louvers on. Uh, I might actually throw the louvers on real quick. Eh, no, nah, because these are nylocks, so they take a long time. So anyway, I'm just gonna rough this up and clean it up with the uh, acetone, and then uh, I'll probably I got a bunch of this uh, rafter liner here. So it worked really good. I did it on the inside of the Jeep, and it turned out awesome. So gonna do that again. Uh, probably rough this, and then I'll take the roof rack and everything off because I'm gonna do the top too, and that should be about one one of those bottles eh, maybe two I don't know maybe I should rough because I'm also gonna do all the fenders all the way around too so but anyway that's another video <laughs> um, yeah I'll post a picture or not post a picture I'll do another video when it's all done there. all right it's all installed got all the bolts tight well except for I think it was this one. Yeah. 
that one. That one's not tight, so tighten that one up. Uh, and then one of these broke off. I don't think this is the same thread as the rest. It uh, broke two nuts off, so I'll have to pick up one for there, but it got stuck in the hole, so that's good. At least it'll stay there. Well, that'll probably come out once I drive it, but that's okay. I'll show you what it looks like from underneath. Everything's nice and straight though. There you go. So, louvers installed. I could probably have got away with uh, maybe a half inch bolt instead of a three quarter inch bolt. So, anyway, if you guys want to keep that in mind. Also, I decided on uh, this is all just going to be the same. It'll all be bed liner. I think it'll look pretty good. I think it would look too flashy if it was a different color. So, we'll do that. It'll look nice and subdued ish. But, yeah, that'll let the heat out. Hopefully it doesn't let too much water in, but it'll definitely keep the heat out. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. That's how you install uh, hood louvers on an XJ. I'm sure, it's most mostly the same for all the rest of them. So, cool. Thanks for watching.